as well. So as streaming names prepare for recession headwinds, our next guest sees it as a buying opportunity, naming Disney and Netflix among his top picks for the coming year. Joining us now, Mark Asset Management CEO Morris Mark. Morris, thanks so much for joining us today. I have so many questions for you, but I want to start off with this question of why Disney and Netflix? How much of the fact that they're your top picks is about the fact that they have these new lower cost ad supported versions? I think the real question is both these companies know what business they're in. They're not in the streaming business, they're in the entertainment business. And I think, uh, sorry. Well, at that's, least we know what you're favorite. That's the Star Wars rank too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we know you're. We know what you're watching. Yeah, we, we know. I am, I'm definitely watching. And um, Apple's a great company. <laughs> okay. I think they both. They know they're in it. The last time that Reed Hastings was interviewed uh, at Andrew Sorkin's conference, he said he was in the entertainment business. He understands that. And it's just a question of how you get people to spend their dollars on entertainment. They can do it directly by subscription. They can do it indirectly by being by being willing to watch advertising and somebody's selling them something and they're giving some of their time up for that. I think both of these entities have got the diversity of product, a range of product, and they've got the management now. Disney has the management now that I think understand that they're in the business of entertainment and understand they're in the business of developing an audience and in, in the business of de developing great relations with the producers of that entertainment. And I think you touched on it. So, uh, but, and, but I guess more big picture, though, if you're if you're bullish on, on Disney and Netflix, what about some of these other players? I mean, we were just looking at the short interest for Paramount, massive short interest from Paramount, as well as for Roku. What's your take on some of these other players? And do you think we'll see consolidation? Uh, I can't begin to guess. I think there should be consolidation because most of these other players don't have the two things that Disney and Netflix have which is diversity of product and size of audience. You know, Disney's got the ability to sell entertainment around the world, and they can do it directly by producing it, and they can do it indirectly by entertaining people at their parks. Uh, and I think that's fabulous. Uh, I think Netflix has got a range of product and smart people running their company. And one of the problems all these other businesses have is not the quality of the management, but the size of their audience and their ability to monetize that audience. You know, Comcast is a great company, but their entertainment division isn't nearly as big or as diverse or has as much to offer as either Disney or Netflix. And it's one of the better ones. As you get to some of those other names, uh, Paramount's got some great mm -hmm. product, smart people, but CBS is producing in a manner where it's going to be losing audience. People right. prefer streaming as an entertainment option, and that, that's an issue they have to address. Will there be consolidation? There should be, but I can't speculate. 